Hey beautiful! Welcome back to my tarot channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Roya. I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today's not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about your next boyfriend or girlfriend. This was a suggestion of one of you guys, so thank you very much for that. And yeah, let's look into what information we can get about them and basically who they are. As always, my dear, I have three piles you can choose from and today I have cards and crystals and stones. So, this is pal 1 with the king of pentacles, this is pal 2 with the emperor, and this is pal 3 with the king of wands. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video, or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course also in the comments section. And as always, my dear, if you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, you can feel free to email me. And lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. As always, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey Palawan, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what can we get about your next boyfriend or girlfriend. Who are they? Let's dive straight away into the topic. Let's get you guys some cards for my beautiful pile one. What can we get about your next boyfriend or girlfriend? Let's start straight away for my beautiful pile one. The first card we have is the Three of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, my goodness, we got the Eight of Pentacles and the Lover's card, all right. Okay. Two of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. One last card. Oh my goodness. A few cards fell. Let me get them. Okay, I'm going to take this card because it was the only one on the table. And we have the Queen of Swords. At the back of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. So for my beautiful pile one... What do you need to know about your next girlfriend or boyfriend? First of all, my dear, I would like to start with this. I really feel like this is someone that you have been manifesting. It could be a specific person that you tried to manifest into a romantic connection. Or, of course, it could be a complete new person. Maybe you are trying to manifest a romantic partner in general. And if you're doing so, then this is definitely a confirmation here that you are on the right path when it comes to that. And yeah, definitely, um, I would say almost like a do like motivation to keep going. Definitely a, mo a manifestation in here that was, yeah, <sighs> coming through. Also, another thing I would like to mention here is that I really feel like you meet this person in some kind of like social gathering or it could be, mm, let me see, it could also be, for example, a restaurant, an event, a celebration. But for some reason, I see a lot of people around, even possibly people like drinking something or maybe eating something, take it how it resonates, but I see that coming through. So yeah, that's just an extra message, I guess, when it comes to how you're gonna possibly 
meet this next boyfriend and girlfriend. Now, looking into who this person is, I feel like this is someone who's very passionate about life, someone who's very excited. Their energy doesn't feel um, too stern. It more so feels like very adaptable, someone who also is just excited about a lot of new things. I feel like this could be someone who likes to dive into a lot of um, like new activities or new topics this is what they love this is what they like they always like to like keep moving they always like to um like go 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 they don't like to stay at the same place or do the same things like something about them just feels like they need that they need this excitement for probably new adventures so it wouldn't surprise me also if you know maybe you and this person you connect on that level maybe you are a little bit similar and even if you're not I feel like this person may open you up to those things you know if you're someone who has a pretty same like life when it comes to your daily activities your schedule it's pretty one-dimensional it's very like white and black you know i feel like they're gonna bring something very different to the table and this could for example be expressed through maybe you guys traveling some to some places that you've never been maybe you're someone who has been at the same place for a long time of course as always take it how it resonates but that's just an example and they are gonna make you see you know what's out there and if it's not something with travel, it could literally be something with other activities. But I just feel like when you are with this boyfriend or girlfriend, you are much more out there. Possibly even out of your comfort zone. Now, this is definitely someone who... Let me see. Okay, I really feel like you and this person, you're gonna fall in love really, really like hard. Um, This is definitely coming together when it comes to falling in love it's not like i don't know maybe you're gonna date this person and there are no feelings involved but you're gonna see where it goes and then eventually you know you get a couple and stuff like that no this is attraction from the beginning not only attraction attraction is one thing i'm seeing love energy in here okay like this is also so mind-blowing we have the lovers card net right next to the two of cups like that's such a such an interesting combination right here i mean both indicate or can indicate of course there are different levels to a card but both can also indicate well you know falling in love or a potential like love interest and i really feel like this could even be like an immediate kind of um falling in love you know of course as always take it how it resonates but that's something i'm seeing in here Another thing regarding who this person is, I've talked about the fact that this person, you could have manifested them, but there is even more to the manifestation element. I feel like they themselves in general, they are someone who's a great manifester as well. Maybe they themselves, they also are trying to manifest a partner possibly, but you know, moving on from the partner um, topic, I feel like generally speaking, this is someone who is a great manifester and could have possibly already accomplished a lot of like dreams or goals in their life. And yeah, someone who definitely has... Mm, I'm hearing someone who has already been where they wanted to be so maybe when it comes to position when it comes to different um life goals but it's almost like i'm seeing a checklist let me put it that way and i see them already like going through some of those like um points you know so yeah very interesting let me see Another thing regarding who this person is, 
I feel like your next boyfriend or girlfriend, there's someone who, when they do something, when they start something, when they choose to make something important in their life, they definitely put their all into it. Like when this person, let's just say, they make their career or their job a a priority they will be very hard working they may do the extra shifts the night shifts like they're gonna also take on the extra projects whatever it may be but this person they definitely i see in here um, yeah they put 100 percent into it that's the best way to, I guess, describe it. Very hardworking person. And it's the same, once again, the career one was just an example. It's really regarding anything. So let's just say a relationship, right? This person chooses to yeah, have a relationship with someone. Let's just say you, right? Because that's your next boyfriend or girlfriend. So when they choose to be in a relationship with someone, that's the same thing. They will put a lot of investment into it. They are gonna um, do their best to create, you know, a good environment for the relationship to grow or a good relationship with the other person. Like it's all about doing what they can you know like this is not the kind of person who goes for the minimum no they don't do the minimum when they do something when they commit to something no they put their all into it that's basically and that's a huge part of their personality or um of who they are of their character and another thing i would like to mention here is that i'm also seeing that this is someone who's very protective of themselves I do feel like there could be a reason for it. However, the energies are not showing me or giving me any more indicators. But that's just something intuitively I, I find or I think coming through. Because if someone has that kind of protection over them, like to the kind of extent that I'm tuning in here, I feel like there could definitely be a reason for that. Maybe someone has taught them to be protective of themselves like that. <sighs> Let me see. I also feel like my year pile one, it could be the case that this person has recently started something like a new... Mm, let me see. Yeah, it's connected to their career for sure. This could be, they could have started, for example, a new business or also something on the side, a new job. I feel like they have dived into something new recently, which is going to be very profitable for them in the future. It could be a new project or maybe they have gone for a new position in their in their career as well and it's definitely going to be something very stable and something that they can in the future they can get the fruits of their labor like their the work they're putting in right now they can in the future they will get rewarded pretty like big time yeah that's something i'm seeing here i feel like just generally speaking this is the kind of person who you know, sometimes when we, or let me put it that way, sometimes they're just people, you know, out there who seem like they have so many opportunities or they have so many things going for them. Of course, we never know their whole story or, you know, what they've gone through. But just looking at them from a, you know, like position of, okay, um, I'm observing them, I'm looking at what they have and their life and stuff like that. It seems like someone who has had a lot of op options or opportunities in life. This is the kind of impression you may get from this person that 
for some reason, they may seem like someone who has had a lot of things going for them. I don't know why the whole time I'm saying that my like um, eyes are fixed on the King of Pentacles. I really feel like this could be an archetype that this person is in. Or I talked about the fact that this person is right now diving into new things that may be very profitable for them. And the King of Pentacles could actually be who they are turning into. Okay, the journey towards becoming the King of Pentacles. And it doesn't matter whether you're asking about a woman or a man. This is just the archetype energy in here, okay? But I really feel like there is something about the King of Pentacles in here. Let me get you guys some, some Oracle cards. For my beautiful pile. One. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's go. Two cards, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have two cards coming through. The first card is letting go of negativity. And the second card is angelic connection. Interesting. All right. So... I don't know why I feel like, okay, so what I'm seeing in here is that with letting go of negativity, I'm coming back to the king of pentacles, I really feel like drawn to it, I feel like throughout this journey of becoming the king of pentacles, this person they have to adapt a lot or they have adapted a lot you know even throughout the journey they've already been in and the development they've done in their career and in their life in general and this person has made a lot of sacrifices that's something i'm feeling here it's kind of like um, they have had a lot of difficult decisions to make and these decisions actually brought them towards where they are right now. Like I talked about the fact that people see this person as someone who seems to always get a lot of opportunities their way or options and stuff like that. But if you really look at them or listen to their story, you will actually see that it took this person so much sacrifice and so much releasing and really like failure and you know, standing up again and stuff like that to actually be at that place. I feel like some people may judge this person maybe um, as being very lucky or such things, but when you really understand them, you will see, no, like this person, they have worked so hard and those opportunities, they didn't just come from nowhere. There is a lot of work that this person has put into it. However, I feel like this could be the kind of person who doesn't really talk about those things, you know. They may just show with their results, but they don't really share the journey for some reason. And maybe that's why people get this impression at times. Another thing I would like to mention here is that when you meet this person for the very first time, you will feel a connection to them. I really feel like this angelic connection is speaking of you and this person. When you guys are together or when you guys meet for the very first time, even you will feel it. You will feel like, okay, this is not just a you know, admirer, for example, reaching out to me and is interested in me. No, this is someone that I can feel it almost like intuitive knowing that this could actually turn into something much more serious or much more like committed energy. Let me see. Yeah, this is actually all I'm receiving for you, my dear pal one today. Let me see. Or is there anything else? No, that's all. 
Okay, my dear pal Juan, this is all I'm getting for today. Please, my dear, feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. Also, my dear, another thing as always, if you're not subscribed, please make sure to do so. And if you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or a candle wax reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you're curious for a personal reading with me, you can feel free to email me. And lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal Juan, take care, my love. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's dive straight into the reading. What do you need to know about your next boyfriend or girlfriend? Who are they? Let's get you guys some tarot cards for my beautiful pal too. Who is your next boyfriend or girlfriend? Let's see. Okay, we have two cards here coming through. The Knight of Wands, the Chariot. I'm not reading reversals. Let's see. Five of Pentacles, at least not today, for my beautiful pile two. Okay, the Knight of Swords. Wow, the Ten of Cups. <laughs> One card fell, the Empress. Oh my goodness, too many, too many, too many. The Magician, let's get you guys one last, okay. Or no, multiple, only one please, only one. One last card. Okay, the Five of Swords turned over, I'm just going to take that one. Okay, so, and at the back of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. So, let's see, for my beautiful pile, two. What do you need to know? Who is this person? Who is your next boyfriend or girlfriend? So, first of all, my dear, what I'm seeing in here is that... Mm, okay. Okay. The first thing I would like to mention is, okay, <laughs> you guys, I'm, I'm getting pictures coming through like, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I see that you're going to be extremely attracted physically to this person. And when this message came through, that was also why I hesitated for a second. I literally got some, yeah, some messages, some pictures coming through my mind which um, were very interesting. <laughs> so my beautiful pile two, I really feel like you're going to be very attracted towards them. This person could, yeah, I'm hearing very handsome. That's what's coming through. If this is someone um, you're asking, yeah, I feel like very handsome or of course very beautiful. Take it how it resonates, but that's what I'm feeling in here. Someone who's very confident in who they are. This person has a very good relationship to themselves. And not only that, they also love themselves. They are very confident when it comes to, you know, their appearance, when it comes to their skills. This person knows their own worth. And I feel like the way they carry themselves the way they like it can be in their walk it could be the way they talk it could be just the way they represent themselves it's so put together and it's more than that i feel like people feel very drawn towards them you know when someone is is radiant like when someone has a great confidence a great relationship to themselves you can feel it of course, to some extent, you can also fake it till you make it. But 
I'm talking here about something which is very genuine. It's almost like in every cell of their body, they're expressing that. And when you meet them for the very first time, for example, when you shake their hand, when you talk to them, you're just going to get the impression that, okay, yes, that's someone who, like, they know who they are and they're not shying away. They are not coming through as being insecure about anything. Absolutely not. I even feel like the way this person sits for for some reason, maybe you're going to meet them in some kind of setting in which they, like, their posture... Um, the way they sit, it's just so confident, you guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this person, maybe this confidence came through because of, especially with the chariot card, for example. Maybe they have accomplished some things and this has made them, yeah, be this way. The chariot card is the champion so they could be a champion in some kind of way or they could be someone who has had some kind of recognition regarding something that they've accomplished and I do feel like for some of you guys this person could have even started from zero like they could have literally started with nothing or they could have started with the five of pentacles in their life and they really made themselves they really worked them like their way up and what sets them so or what makes them so different let me put it that way it's the fact that their skills their capabilities like even if this person is working in a team I don't feel like anyone in that team can do what this person can do. And this is also someone who's very competitive. They are not scared of competition. In fact, I feel like it really makes them excited. <laughs> like competition and stuff like that. It's something that they... They feel in their element because that they love that. They love to show what they are capable of. They love to share what they can do. And yeah, it's definitely something that they don't shy away from. I feel like this person, for some reason, they just know... Okay, another message. They just know how to make money. It's almost like this person has a gift or a talent for you know, understanding how to make things work. And maybe that's also why this person has such a great confidence because they have emerged into a lot of different careers or a lot of different stuff and they, they know how to go about it. And I feel like another thing, maybe it's important for that, but this person has great emotional control. And this helps them to definitely mm, Let me see. Yeah, I feel like this emotional control definitely has helped them a lot even throughout their career. This is someone who's very practical and logical. Like, they will, when this person does something, I don't think they will ever do something out of a, like, emotional, um, like, response. They will always think things through. And that could be one of this person's, like, secrets to success, to always keep calm, keep cool, and never react emotionally to something, but actually, um, you know, go away and really deal with yourself and gather yourself and see how you want to go about something that may, yeah, cost you some worries. This is definitely someone who's very action-oriented. There is no doubt about that. Someone who makes things work. The best way to say is 
a go-getter. This is a go-getter. This is someone who makes things happen, you guys. I also feel like this person... They definitely have some kind of support system, which could be family, friends, but people who are a great part of this person's life because, yeah, a, this person has a circle or has a environment which is so supportive. And I feel like this person has a great balance between the professional life and the personal life because their personal life is definitely not empty. In fact, I see them having maybe even a huge family or a lot of great friends who are a great support system, are, yeah, they have great emotional connections with those people. A lot of emotional satisfaction or emotional fulfillment. This could even be someone who's very family oriented, for example. Let me see. I feel like right now, this person could have left something or ended something in their life which was not something easy to overcome. What can this be? It could be something that they experienced recently or... Like, I'm not getting necessarily a timeline here, so I'm not going to focus on that too much. It could be months ago, maybe just recently, years ago, but... It's coming through, so there is some kind of importance in here. I feel like this person could have ended something which wasn't easy for them, but it really helped them to go to the next level. Let me take an example in here. Let's just say this person, they... Yeah, let's just say this person, they were in a relationship which was not good for them and they moved away from it or they ended it. They had to break up. It wasn't easy. There could even have been some conflict, but it was very necessary for them to move on. Maybe this relationship made them stuck somehow. So they needed to leave it or keep going. Let me get you guys some more cards about who this person is. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like this person, they could have ended this something and now they are ready for a brand new beginning. So whatever this ending was, it could be a while ago because I feel like this person, they have had time to, you know... Um, gather their thoughts, collect themselves and stuff like that, maybe even heal if necessary. And now they are really ready for something new. So let's go back to the breakup situation. If this person has had a breakup, it is, yeah, it was a while ago and they have, you know, moved away from that. And now they are ready for a new relationship. Let's see, for my beautiful pile two. What else? Oh my goodness. Too many cards. Too many. Let me get them. All right. The first card we have is Clear Quartz, and it says bringing the body into balance. Two. I only want one. Only one. Too many. Only one, please. Okay. And we have activate the third eye. Interesting. 
I don't know why I'm getting the message that, as I said, I mean, I'm not really getting messages regarding this person being spiritual or religious or, or such thing. I mean, of course, it's a general reading, um, but I feel like I'm getting more so like very, as I said, very logical, practical, analytical energy from them. But it's interesting how I really feel like this person they could have recently dived into something very i'm hearing unusual and the reason why i'm hearing unusual is because for them it is something they may have never done so for example this person they could have for example gone to a retreat a yoga retreat which has a certain spiritual element to it when it comes to this retreat. It's not only about the, the physical um, when it comes to yoga, but it's also about something that's definitely connected to some kind of um, spiritual belief. And this could be something so out of character for this person, but they're diving into it. And I'm seeing that it actually allows them to expand their horizon and actually also um, look at life a different way for example getting a more spiritual view when it comes to life maybe this person hasn't really um yeah been like that at all and now they're opening themselves up a little bit or if it's not the retreat it could for example be maybe they have a friend who's very spiritual and this friend is sharing with them certain things and this person may be triggered to think about it or maybe this friend is also suggesting certain techniques so for example if this is someone who's very busy maybe their friend suggests to them certain meditation techniques and it also um, opens up to them maybe a spiritual aspect okay i really really feel that here whatever it is it's definitely it has a very positive impact on them and at the same time like on their well-being as this card says like bringing the body into balance i do feel like it's more than the body it's also a spiritual aspect and also with activating the third eye like something within them is being activated this person could have a spiritual awakening soon i don't see it happening yet but they are on the like it's almost like i can see it at the end of the tunnel i can see the spiritual awakening but they're not there yet okay and if you're also spiritual maybe you're someone who will teach them a lot about it you know yeah that could also be the case so my beautiful pal too this is all i'm receiving so far for today as always my dear please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading thank you so so much for allowing me to read for you and for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy as always my dear if you haven't subscribed i invite you to do so and if you do so, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload a new pico card or candle wax reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can feel free to email me. And lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal too. Take care, my love. Hey pal 3, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see, what do you need to know about your next boyfriend or girlfriend? Who are they? Let's dive straight away into their reading. Let's start with some tarot cards for you guys for my beautiful pal 3. What do you need to know about your next boyfriend or girlfriend? Who are they? Alright right from the beginning i'm getting a very exciting energy it's almost like i don't know whether some of you guys watching this you're very excited right now or whether this is maybe some kind of um, emotional 
yeah, response you're gonna have when you meet this person. But definitely there's some, like, almost like a boost of energy that I'm receiving right now. <laughs> Where does this come from? Interesting. The first card we have is the Hanged Man. We have the Emperor. Four of Swords. Ace of Cups. My goodness. The Nine of Swords. Two of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. And let's get you guys one last card. And we have the Eight of Wands. Okay. At the back of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. Now, that's very interesting. We have the cards for the pile selection of pile one and two coming through we have the emperor and the king of pentacles so for some of you guys maybe you've felt drawn to another pal as well if this is the case then feel free to watch it if not then as always just stick with this one here but let's start for my beautiful pal three what do you need to know about this person about your next boyfriend or girlfriend First of all, my dear, let me start with this. I really feel like this is a new person coming towards you. This is not someone from the past, a past level, a lover or such thing, a past partner. No, this is a new partner. And something that I find very interesting coming through is that I really feel like some of you guys, you could have been single for quite a long time now. <sighs> If it's not you, it could also be them, but I do feel like it is more so you. Someone in this energy, in this relationship, has been single for a very long time. That's something I'm seeing in here very, very clearly. And it is interesting how, you know, your energy is going pretty slow when it comes to meeting them. But once you meet them, it is interesting how things speed up, like almost immediately. For some of you guys, let me explain it that way. It could be the case that you've been single for quite some time and then you meet them. And then how the things are going to develop is pretty fast. <laughs> when we talk about you guys meeting, dating, getting in a relationship... It could be like this, like pretty, 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 pretty quickly. And for some of you guys, maybe that's going to be a little bit overwhelming because like going from from zero to 100, you know, in such a speed is definitely something that some of you guys may need to adapt to. But it's exciting. It's not like, oh my goodness, I feel pressured or oh my goodness, like it's going faster than I actually want. No, it's going to feel very exciting. It's, you, you can't see me right now, but I'm smiling so much. Like, and that's what I'm talking about. Also with the energy and um, like in the beginning, this, yeah, this is something you guys can look forward to, okay? you can look forward to this it's amazing you guys i love this energy so much definitely my favorite pile okay <laughs> like i wish i could um give you guys my hand and then you can feel it as well but it's a very good energy now let's go back and see who this person is right that's way why you're here so first of all my dear Regarding the question who your next boyfriend or girlfriend is, they could be a little bit different from you. I feel like there is some difference being emphasized in here. Now, this difference could be you guys' um, background, physical appearance, or maybe just upbringing in general. Maybe even place of living for some of you guys. But there is something very different that's something I'm seeing in here. And what I also find very interesting is that I don't know why I'm getting the message that this person will help you with something. Maybe when you meet them, there is something you will struggle with or there is something bothering you and you need some kind of guidance or so. 
That's interesting. I believe in my reading yesterday, I also got a very similar message in one of the pals. So maybe this, you chose the other pal as well, if you've seen it. But I definitely feel like, my dear, yeah, somehow this person will assist you with something or help you with something. Can I get a little more information regarding that? I don't see it being something like very, very bad or negative. Um, let me give you guys some examples. It could be the case that, for example, um, maybe you guys have sleeping problems or it's very difficult for you to fall asleep. Um, you stay awake for a very long time. Well, this person could somehow help you with that. Maybe they suggest you to do something before sleeping or um, they give you something which may help you with, you know, falling in, falling um, to sleep easier or faster. But somehow, you know, it's helping like that. It's not like you being in some kind of emergency, emergency situation. That's not what I'm seeing in here. It's kind of like them giving you advice or somehow helping you with your well-being. So let's look into who they are. I also feel like for you, my beautiful pile three, this could be someone who... I feel like people respect this person for something. Maybe they're very like well-known in their community or... This is someone who has done certain things that other people look up to and people respect them for them. Yeah, I also feel like, again, some people may even go to this person for advice. For some reason, this is someone who, who may be very knowledgeable or has a lot of advices for a lot of different situations. You know, that... The thing with you was just a small um, example. I feel like it can really be anything. This person could also maybe connect it to their work, guide some people or um, help some people out, you know, counseling people, for example. But there is just something about that here. This is someone who has a very good heart. They love to help out. It wouldn't surprise me as well if this is someone maybe who also does some charity work or donates and stuff like that they definitely help other people to improve i'm hearing very clearly improve their life circumstances another thing i would like to mention here is that this person could have some admirers <laughs> Very random message, but that's something I'm seeing in here. It could be the case that there are people who, um, yeah, people in their life who are very interested in them. I feel like this person could be attractive as well, like physically. Let me see what else I can get. You know what's so strong and powerful about this person? They believe in themselves. They believe in themselves big time. This person has gone to places, they have seen some stuff, and whenever they embarked on a new journey, one thing that was so striking about them is the fact that they have so tr so much trust in who they are and so much belief in um yeah in their path and in themselves as well and i do feel like this is something that maybe this person um like looking into the past maybe they they struggled with that or maybe they grew up in an environment in which that was a Mm. let me see give me a second 
yeah, maybe they they were in an environment in which people like it was actually the complete opposite. People didn't really believe in them, or there was some kind of um, like. Let me see. Yeah, people not being the most optimistic, or yeah, not the most optimistic, or just generally speaking. D they may have discouraged this person as well. I feel like because of limiting minds, that's something I'm getting here. People having limiting minds, people not really allowing themselves or allowing their minds to be expanded to all the possibilities that are out there. And they could have been pretty different from maybe the people they were surrounded by. They could have been someone who likes to think big and other people were just thinking very one-dimensional. And it's interesting how no matter what, they still didn't allow this vision to, yeah, to go away. Maybe as a child, you know, this person, they always fantasized about going places or certain goals that others may have laughed about or said, yeah, yeah, like you know, children and their imagination and stuff like that. But no, them growing up, they have accomplished a lot of things that maybe they always talked about. I don't know why I feel like some people could be also very envious of them, very jealous. That's interesting. This is definitely someone who has accomplished something for themselves, yeah. And some people respect them for what they have done and, you know, where they've um, gone and others envy them. But regardless of that, this person just focuses on themselves. They don't care whether someone, you know, thinks of them as, as so or, or so. They just, they're so, so focused, you guys, on the journey and on their um, path. And this is exactly what has helped them actually to, yeah, become who they are. Very powerful energies. I would say let's get you guys some more cards. My goodness. For my beautiful pile three. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. The first card we have is ob object. Um, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Please let me know how to pronounce it. Um, and we have spiritual development. I think object. Why to you uh, or something like that? <laughs> Excuse me, my dear. I don't know why. Um, anyways, let's look into the energies and the meanings of the cards. So, first of all, I I don't know why. Okay. There is one thing I would like to say. I really feel like coming back to the jealousy kind of energy, one thing that people are jealous of them is their freedom. So this person could have created a lifestyle for themselves, which gives them a lot of freedom, maybe to travel, maybe to see a lot of um, fancy places even. But it's interesting how, yeah, maybe this person comes from a place where people... I know why, but they may live a very, um, let me see. Yeah, maybe from a place where life looks only one way, but this person has seen that no life can actually look a lot of different ways, you know? And in fact, there is so much out there to explore. There is so much out there to see. And with everything we experience, whether good or bad, there is always this personal development or literally, as this card says, the spiritual development that we, that we go through. 
whether it's something positive, you know, that allows us to expand our horizon or even negative, right? I mean, negative um, experiences are even most of the times much more, um, like, have much more lessons for us or we may even grow from them even more. And something about this person is very fearful. <laughs> I feel like sometimes maybe people try to, you know hold them back from certain things they wanted to do through like fear for example maybe they just wanted to travel to a certain country and other people said well don't go to that country because i've heard this and that happens and you know it's so different and you know stuff like that but for them they don't care i mean of course they're gonna make sure they're safe but just because of a possibility of something that doesn't mean they want to just stay in a little box, you know, or they just want to stay in their comfort zone just because out there, there are so many possibilities for things to happen. You know, this is someone who will always want to expand themselves. Let me see. I also feel like, my dear, this is someone who's not very quick to judge. This person, they are, they are very observing and they're very acceptive as well, something I'm seeing here. I feel like this person takes their time when it comes to their um, decisions and stuff like that which is very interesting from the energy that I received from your relationship which was pretty fast moving so it may not just be something very um, uncommon for you but it could also be something very uncommon for this person to go with such an extent um, such a speed but it's just gonna feel right you know it's just the way it's gonna develop and once again coming back to the previous message, I really feel like this person normally <laughs> takes their time with, with things. And they also, they're not quick to judge because um, it's almost like they give people the benefit of the doubt, you know. And even though many people could have judged this person very quickly, they're not like that. This person has really their mind, you know, and they don't allow other people or they don't allow, like, just because they have lived in a certain environment, which wasn't the most positive, that doesn't mean that they want to also be sour, like the environment. They still want to find their own path. Let's just say maybe they have had parents who weren't the most supportive. That doesn't mean that this person also wants to step into their parents' footprint, you know? Or footstep, excuse me. This is all I'm getting for you, my dear pal three. I'm not receiving any more messages. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. As always, thank you so, so much for allowing me to read for you and for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy. As always, if you haven't, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you're curious about a person or reading with me, you can feel free to email me. And lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal three, take care, my love.